Hello and welcome to video with me, Winner and Jake, speaking of Wario, the first time where I basically just took over all of South America and Central America and also continued taking over more of North America, getting some stuff up here and colonizing all of that stuff up there. And, um, yeah, this episode, I think I'm mostly just going to be dealing with Africa, for, I, th I think. Taking out this country here and possibly fighting a war against England. Possibly. Not entirely sure about that. But, um, yeah. I know England has a very large army. Like, ten times as large as mine. So, I think I'm going to spend some time recruiting a bunch of troops right now at the beginning of this episode. Considering I do have quite a bit of money currently, so... Yeah. I'm going to spend some time working on recruiting troops, and then I will get to work on doing stuff in Africa, I think, and then I will move on from there. Okay, so I have over 10 million troops at this point. Wait, what the fuck? For some reason, 2 million of those troops are fucking missing on that total count. Weird. Maybe it's just those two groups because they're out in the ocean or something, I guess. I don't fucking know, but um, I went and bought all this land over here off of England. And got all that stuff dealt with. Going to be going after Bruni first to finish them off, basically. But apparently they went and took a lot of land over here and they're facing a bunch of rebellions and stuff at this point, so... Yeah, that's happening at this right now. But, uh, yeah. Let's deal with Bruni here right quick. And finish them off. Okay, so I'm almost done with this so far. Gotta wipe out the army that they got over here currently. And then it's just the stuff they got in the Americas, which, to be honest, I'm not sure what all I'm going to do about this stuff over here. Could get like the Shawnee or Cherokee to go to war with them, maybe Creek. I'm not sure. I could do that, but eh. I'd like to secure this stuff first at the very least. Okay, so I had to get other countries to actually go to war with them to finish them off, because they couldn't actually get to any of the other lands they had. Okay. So, there we go. Now, since I have all of this land over here at this point as a result of that, I think I'm going to want to trade land around here, possibly. Hmm. Just see what I can do overall when it comes to just smoothing out borders and stuff. But for now, I need to deal with province stability for all the land I got now, as a result of that work. Okay, so I got province stability and everything done. I took over some of the countries that are over here right quick, because, well, quick, small wars and stuff. So I dealt with that, colonized more land around there, and also bought some land off of this country over here, just to make borders look a bit nicer and stuff. So, yeah. Things look much better over here at this point already. And I am preparing to go to war with this country. There, since they kind of refuse to trade any land. They won't even give me that stuff there, or anything in Africa. So, go to war with them, and finish them off, I guess. To be honest, I may end up just finishing off the Americas altogether as a result of this stuff. Because there really isn't going to be much left of the creek. 
what I'm done here, so yeah, I guess I could deal with them as well. Just finish things off. I'll probably take over that country soon since they lost all their land in Europe to England. Okay. Sure. Put these troops group up around here so I can send them in to attack that, I guess. Okay. Go in, attack there. Creek are over here attacking them. Right now, great. Oh yeah, I forgot. For some reason I forgot to stack these provinces. Whatever. Um, really not going to be hard to defeat them at all, to be honest here. Okay, so I don't exactly remember where I was when I last was talking, so, um, yeah. I know I fought a few wars, taking wars from these countries over here, and I have bought a decent chunk of land off the creek, kind of, and also more land from them over here and stuff to make sure the borders look a little bit better after colonizing West Land, so we're here. So, yeah, I got a lot of that stuff done. I need to remember to actually send troops up here to deal with that, because I still haven't done it. So I guess I'll do that right now before I continue forgetting. But um, yeah, I think I'll probably be going after the creek very soon most likely. And that's country there. I'll just send a trade deal to right there and do the same thing over here. Just get rid of that com country completely. Now, um, the rest of the stuff here. To be honest, I'm probably going to see about just buying a bunch of this land from the creek or here just so I don't have to fight for it all. Considering, uh, yeah, there's a lot of land over here that I have to put troops on the border of if I were to go to war with them. I don't exactly want to do that, really. So, yeah. At the very least, I want to do that. Get, uh, those 100 provinces from them, but yeah, that's probably going to take some work to get them to accept the trade deal for that stuff. I guess for right now I could do this as well. Buy this land from England. Nice. Okay, so I think it is time to go to war with the creek over here and finish off North America. Got troops lined up along the entire border, 20,000 every single province. So yeah, let's get this done here. Forty-three percent in just one turn. Very nice. Uh, 
I really don't understand why it took so long for them to capitulate, but, uh, yeah, they capitulated. Now have the entirety of the Americas fully under my control, so it is now time to start working on Africa and getting that stuff finished off. But first, I need to deal with province building things, of course. Yeah. Okay, so I have recruited shitloads of troops at this point. So I have at least 26 million, but considering the bugs of this and the fact that I was going down earlier, I'm going to guess it's maybe 30 million troops or something I currently have. Most of which is on the border of this country. With half a million in every single province, because of how large their army is. Well, I also got a few million kind of just sitting out here along their coastline to do naval invasions. So, let's get this done. And four million casualties in just one turn. Oh boy. Yeah, I definitely needed to recruit that, all those troops for this. God fucking damn it. I just accidentally skipped two fucking turns. There, do not hit a fucking space bar again. God. Now I gotta try and recover from that. But so far I am doing decently well, I think. Though I have, of course, started running into larger portions of their army. What's the problem? Ah, there we go. 11 million casualties. God damn. And I can take over all that land. Good. Very good. Okay. So, let's get troops grouped up around here. And then I'll deal with province stability. Well, okay, I finished dealing with all the province building down there, colonized land, and also bought that chunk of land off of England to smoothen out my border over there in eastern Africa. And, um, yeah, I've been recording for over six hours at this point for this episode alone, so, uh, yeah. That's going to be the end of this episode. Next uh, one, I'm pretty sure, will be the last one, considering it's literally just England at this point. Though, before I actually go to war with England, I'll probably have them take over the last of these small countries and stuff. Just to make things a bit easier. Only exception, I guess, possibly being France and Leech there, Bohemia, stuff over here. Because they are kind of still somewhat strong, I guess. But, um, yeah. I'm be going to be dealing with England's next. <sighs> There's also the one occupied country over here still. that With that never-ending war England has going on over here. I'm going to have to deal with after I liberate it. It's there. But, um, yeah, next episode, deal with England. Don't know if I'm going to need more troops, considering I'm pretty sure I do have 20 million troops currently. Um, yeah. I don't know how many troops England has at all. Okay, they have 36 million just sitting in their capital. <laughs> and several million more just sitting around doing nothing. So yeah, they have a lot more troops than I do, but yeah. Maybe I spend more time beginning the next episode recruiting more troops. 
Maybe? I'm not exactly sure, but I guess I might need to do that. I'm definitely recruiting troops from that province, that is for sure. And other provinces around here. Yeah, definitely. Guessing, recruit tons of troops over here in Africa, and that'll be it, pretty much. And then I'll go to war with England. But, um, yeah, that's there is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.